when we're underscoring, we get to stretch out more because we're not supporting a singer. So we don't have to worry about forms that are clean and easy to follow or rhythms or harmonic movement that's easy for them to sing to. We can just play the feel and emotion of the scene. So let's say a scene set in a dusty attic and they're walking through the attic and there's cobwebs and a rat scurrying across. I could play something like... It really is like underscoring a movie in real time, except there's one big difference. When we're underscoring in improv, there's a give and take, a back and forth that can happen between the actors and the musician. We're each making offers that can inspire each other and lead us to new things that we would have never discovered on our own. So, for example, the scene in the attic that I just played for you that might have started with a suggestion of realtor and client, and they might have been walking through the attic inspecting the insulation. But then one of them, you know, bumps into a cobweb. They might pick up on that creepy music, and you know, now that, that the rat scurries across, or they hear a mysterious thumping. And then that might inspire me to go even deeper into that ominous music. And that might inspire them to turn it into a full-fledged horror movie style scene. We're building on each other's offers, creating the scene together as we go. Mm -hmm.